what's up guys today in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make npcs for your minecraft world or a realm so right now i am on my skyblock realm and uh, just to show you what i mean when i say npc so for instance you see these guys all around here but let's say i want to go to the shop all i have to do is walk up to this guy and click him and then i'm instantly taken here and this has been something that I've been asked before to show how to do. So, yeah, I'll be showing you the, how to do this today. Um, you can go more advanced, and for instance, over here, if I click this guy, it'll take me to my island, so it doesn't have to be one set location, it can be different for everyone. But yeah, so let me show you how to do this. So I'm going to qu quickly leave my realm, go into my world, where I will show you the commands for this. So, okay, so over here I have uh, an example set up. So, for instance, if I want to go to red, I would just click on this guy and then I'm in the red square. Now, I'm going to be setting one up to take you to the blue one and I'll take you step by step through that. But first, let's just look at the commands. So, it's not too many actually. For this one, it's only two. It's uh, tp at e name equals red and then to those co coordinates facing here now this guy is named red uh, you fly t up right above it too low it'll teleport you but this guy is named red and actually it actually there is a horse right here which is what you're actually clicking on so the horse is also named red and once you click on it you'll ride it and then when you'll write when you click to ride it you'll be in that block which this is just a simple square radius which is just this one block going up and once you're in here it'll teleport you to this the spot over here 6 11 138 so i'll now set one up and show you how to do it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to label label it. You don't have to, but I'd say this would be better. And if you're going to do it, uh, I'd say build it on a half slab. Just so the horse's hitbox will like fit the whole thing. So there won't be a gap. So I did that. Now I'm going to take barriers. And then build up two blocks and then just come off of each side. And then... Yeah, once I have it looking like this, we're good to go. So, next I'm going to choose an entity to use. And I'm going to use a blaze for this one. So, I'm going to have this guy named Blue. So, get a name tag, name it Blue. It doesn't matter where you place this guy for now, just name it Blue. Now, I'm going to get these coordinates. So... It's going to be 8, 12, 132. So let me just type these in chat so I remember. 8, 12, 132. And then the thing is right here. So I'm going to place this below it. This command doesn't need to be right below it, but for convenience, I'd do it. So tp at e name equals blue. And then 8. 12, 1, 32. Now, with this, if you're doing it on a half slab, which I would recommend, make it uh, 12.5. Or whatever your height is, make it 0.5. And then type facing, and then come back out. And then if you want it to look this way, then just walk forward a block. And if you look at my Z coordinate, it's going down one. So... I'm just going to subtract uh, one number from my last coordinate. So I'm going to retype this and then put 131 instead of 132. So make sure that's repeat, unconditional, always active. And now you see this blaze will be here. So now if I take a horse right here, if I spawn it in, okay, well, we need an adult horse like this, and then I name it blue. It'll teleport right there. Now, the next command is it going to actually teleport the player. So, just do tp at a dx equals 0, dy equals 5. If this doesn't work, you may be placing it too far below. 
your NPC, so if first if this is broken for you, first thing I would try is just increase that uh, five by a couple blocks, and then see if that fixes it. Um, and then DZ zero, and then you're gonna put the coordinates you want to go to. So I'm gonna want to go to fourteen eleven one hundred thirty eight. So I'm gonna type those in. So fourteen eleven one forty eight. And then after that, I'm just gonna cover this up. And then give the horses invisibility. So effect at E type equals horse invisibility and then spam some nines, put a one, then true. What I'd also do is give everything resistance so it can't take damage. So I'm gonna just do this. Resistance, put some nines, two five five, which is max and true. And it wouldn't hurt to put fire resistance as well, just because I used a blaze, or let's say someone has a fire aspect sword, so they can't do damage to it. So I'm just going to take effects away from myself now. And then, yeah, if I click this guy, he should take me... Oh, I put the coordinate too far back. Should have been 138, not 148. But it'll still teleport you wherever you put the coordinates. So now that that's fixed, all I have to do is click this guy, and then I go to the blue square. Click this one, I'll get the red. Um, now, there is one glitch with this. It's not really a glitch, and it's not too bad, but let's say you're using this on a realm, and then the realm is a bit laggy. Sometimes, let's say, with the villagers, it'll have more of an issue than, say, with the blaze. So, sometimes it'll look like it's walking forward, they get teleported back. So, it'll kind of look like me right now. I go forward, then back, then forward, then back. An easy way to fix this is effect at E, and then I'll just do radius equals 10, type, uh, okay, type equals, I can't spell, uh -huh. type equals not player, so it won't do myself, and then if you just give them slowness for however long, whatever, just spam some nines, put 255, then put true because there's no particles, now it won't be able to move, and this also does it for your horses as well, so if that bug happens to your horses, then they won't move either. So, yeah, they're, both, they're all locked in place now. All you have to do is just click on it, it'll teleport you over there. And this guy, if I want to go to red, I'll just click this. So, yeah, you can always go more advanced with these type of things. Of course, I just have the basic ones, but, I mean, use your imagination. Be creative with it. Um, yeah, so, it's going to do it for today's video. As always, remember to like and subscribe. If you have anything that you don't know how to do, but you think I do and you want to learn, just leave a comment down below. And yeah, if I think it's a good idea, I'll do a video on it. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.